Oh yeah, lots of water on the inside. Well, here we go again. Again, wet, wet. I'm starting to realize my sleeping pad is turning into a raft. But luckily, we have blue sky and sunshine on our tent. And how did you guys do in the rain? This was smart by mistake. I just rested it over the bag because I had food inside this triangle and I didn't want to take all my food out and hang food because I didn't want to. So that kept it dry because I think the rain landing on that would have soaked through. And I know my moose truck bags are tough and waterproof. So I think even though I didn't have this really turned that much, I have it enough. It's gonna have a seat on the rock since I didn't get to use it yesterday. And I look closer and look who's here. Yep, using it again. You exhausted from all that sexy time yesterday? Guess what? We have to share today because I am gonna put half my ass on this rock and you have plenty of space. We have sun now. I'm so incredibly thrilled. I can't even tell you. The fact that this, I'm just gonna have to keep shaking it. It's gonna dry up so much faster with the sun. I just have my rain fly, my tent, my mattress, the pillow, and then the ground sheet. Those will dry fast, luckily by putting... What the hell? Are you kidding me? That's all we have. We have this much time before our huge gray clouds come and pass over the sun. on my nose some kind of a bite anyway the cool thing is how I have this set up let me show you I can just unzip I have my battery pack is right there there's my cords in the pink that I keep the phone cord white so when I really need a cord I know it's the white cord out of a few cords that I have I'm gonna tuck my phone right in here and then zip it up and it'll be in there and it'll get some uh, juice off of the battery pack got a little m, &M going time to take a cliff shot and I just put, brought music I didn't last year. I think it would be great for long climbs. And now my battery is dying. I haven't used this thing. A little rain shower. It's okay, I can do this, you know. You wanna to try to give me flats. You wanna send thunderstorms my way. I'm gonna make my music die. A half a song right before I do the climb. Bring it on, bring it on. I'm ready for some hail. You hear that? Thunder. Sun came out. Okay. Chris Froome, don't you worry about it. I got your back. Finally, a female off on her own. Two months. Yeah. Visiting family and friends, but she started in catch and went to the coast, up Idaho, across Washington, across Washington yeah. and down. So you've been on pavement this whole time. I've done some gravel. It's not ideal. So what's your name? Naomi. My name's Naomi. No way. <laughs> So the only female I've seen on this trip, pedaling by herself, and her name happens to be Naomi. <laughs> Here comes another one. But you know, there's the Boulder Mountains. Actually, I think those might be the Boulder ones over there, but we were way down in that crevice. We summited! It was actually a really nice climb. Like 6% grade. Can you believe we ran across another Naomi? I mean, that is just, 
the one girl, the one girl, and I'm so glad she stopped because I was going uphill, I wasn't stopping. She said the climb there from last year when, when I ran into Wayne, he said, you're gonna have a nice boom down into Loman. She's like, that was like the best decline of my life. Time to put the coat on, tuck her down, and have an awesome decline on pavement. You have no idea how excited I am. that that's I believe part of the Idaho hot springs section if you wanted to stay on the dirt it looks beautiful if it was sunny out and dry but I'm really glad I did the pavement isn't that just fantastic so there's the sawtooth and there's we're gonna continue on this road down towards Stanley here it comes I don't know I guess we'll find out Gosh, I love this area. The temperature is incredible. I can't afford to stop right now and risk getting hit by rain. So sorry, I'm missing some historical signs. So here's the road that you would take to the single track white cloud section. Otherwise you were supposed to have cut off when I got down the climb, it was like a dirt road. I'm staying on pavement for what should be obvious to many of you after listening to my joy. <laughs> I love these places. Ooh, there's a word milkshakes. Perfect. Cute. There's a lodge, this eat, store, whole supermarket. All right, cool. It's got a little bit of everything. Ooh, an ice cream. Nice. All right, I just hung out at Smiley Creek Lodge for way too long. But you know what? I'm not on a time frame, so I shouldn't even say that. When I first got there, I'm like, you should, you know, charge, eat something, and let's keep pedaling. And then it's like, no, I want to people watch. I want to hear the conversations going on and waiting for stuff to charge anyway, you need to sort of sit around. And then I met these two guys that came up to me. I didn't video them, because sometimes I just get tired of videoing. <laughs> they both lived in Boise, and he said that we exchange info, and he's gonna take me out dirt biking. I'm so excited. Redfish is about 28 miles from here. I'm not gonna go, I'm just gonna pedal. It's like 3.30, the sun finally came out, beautiful temperature. Alfred's Lake, the turn off is here. I think I'm gonna take it. Might as well go look at it. Okay, 1.5, but I don't wanna pay to camp. I wonder if there's wild camping out here. This is just so much fun right now. I think I like going where cars go, just on a bicycle, which is bike touring. So this says tent camping only. I wonder if it's full. It's a Thursday night. I wanna go take this road to the end before I make a decision because you know how it goes with me. Constantly changing my mind. Wow. It's like, I don't know, six times bigger than I imagined. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You might have thought it was over, but I knew it wasn't. This trip is just great. I should have like a built-in umbrella in my helmet. Although those ones with the sun visors actually could work as a rain visor. Okay, I need a harder gear because I'm not going anywhere. No, the sun is out. No, it's raining. No, the sun is out. No, it's raining. 
I'm just pedaling along, it turned to dirt, and boy, can I tell the difference between pedaling on the pavement and the dirt, just how much more work it is. And I'm like, oh, oh. where'd the water go? <laughs> you know what I need? I don't know how this would work, because it wouldn't work unless we had Wi-Fi. This would be so fun if I'm shooting live, because I could send out a message like, okay, I just looked at three places, where should I sleep? Or what should I do, you know? And, but see, you'd have to have a signal, so it couldn't happen. Branson and, oh my gosh, Amazon guy, can't think of it right now. You know, they just broke the atmosphere. Hopefully you could be getting cell servers or Wi-Fi in these places that are super populated, right? And here comes somebody, of course, because they decided to shoot in the middle of nowhere on a dirt road. <laughs> oh, hey. Just want to point out that there's my future. I'm sorry, you're thinking, well, are we going to get to see the lake? It's only 4.15. I'm going to just sort of pedal out on this road because tomorrow is Friday and if Redfish is the place, everyone's going to start going, right, to get a spot. It's probably already pre-reserved. I don't know. Oh my God, is this guy coming? <laughs> oh, see? Dirt bikes. I'm telling you. Oh my gosh. I can't wait. It's Ultras. Ultras? Ultras. Let's go to day use. All right, camping. Because we're poor. <laughs> <sighs> I wonder what they charge anyway, I'm curious. Day use is until 10 p.m. Wow. Day use fee required, well, I'm not using it, so I'm just taking a peek. I hear humans, a lot of humans. Oh, get ready for this. Please just give me one spot without screaming children. Just one little spot. Oh, I see feet. Okay, let's see. Oh, geez, I'm at someone's spot? I don't know. I don't want to wake up the guy next to me. I did wake the guy up because I was talking to the ladies on my left. He was the husband. He, he actually didn't care. I was like, I'm so sorry I woke you up. They said this is the prettiest in regards to having the sand. They said Redfish is kind of like rocky and there's a music festival going on there, so it's going to be packed. Pettit Lake, I think, doesn't have much access or it's super rocky, has little spots. So they said, if I go back to the dirt road, go a little further, then I can find a spot there. Why am I not on dirt? Because I changed my mind. But you all knew that, didn't you? You knew that. If you've watched my channel long enough, you know that I rarely go with my first choice or my second choice. I get so indecisive. If it was already like seven, I would set up a tent. What am I gonna do, go out there in the woods, set up a tent, and then ride my bike back to the beach and like just sit there? It's so noisy, so many kids. This is the time that is so beautiful to bike. And last year, I think I biked a lot of times till about 7.30, so I don't wanna stop at 4.30. It's like, I can't relax. I really have a hard time relaxing. So high maintenance. <laughs> I really am. I'm a high maintenance camper. <laughs> I'm curious, this is this tent only one? Curious what they charge. So they have a bathroom. Okay. Is it free? Maybe it's free? Oh no, fee area. Okay, let's see. $16. All right, well, I'm not gonna stay here, but I will absolutely take this moment, even though I don't have to go, to use the toilet. So I need like kind of clear shades for just when you're on the road and stuff so you can see when it's cloudy out. I found these, no slip, no bounce, all polarized, all fun. Flamingo eye, gooder. Why am I carrying this box? Cause it was so freaking cute. Just what I don't need in my backpack. Look at the little holder with the flamingos. <laughs> they're not the, the greatest shape for my face, but I do love that they're white. Cause you know how I like bright if I drop them and they land on the ground and everything has become this beautiful, super light, because I don't like strong tints, pink, hence the flamingo. The ladies at the beach said they were told that anywhere over this bridge, you can camp. What's this little spot? Well, gosh, I'm right here across from the campground where we just were. And look at this, we can go back in here, maybe. Let's walk this before I drag. Audacious all this way. How pretty. I'm gonna put a fire pit underneath a bunch of logs. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Look! 
the tent right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Score. Here I go, I see butts. See? I want to see some men's butts. We get our own freaking beach. Let me go grab Bodacious. Bodacious is going to be so happy to have some cheese to lay again. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is better than the $20 or the $16 spots. And I got to use the bathroom. I'm so freaking happy. I'm gonna do something crazy. <laughs> something that's really not, not in my, per my personality. I think I'm gonna just like have a day at the beach tomorrow. And I don't, I, like, I don't really know. I'm not, I'm not that person to just lay out and just do nothing. I, ne I, I need activity, I like activities. So I'm gonna try it. I mean, why not? It's, I'm in a free spot. I have unlimited water. I have a solar panel to charge stuff. I have a floaty device to go lounge on the water tomorrow. I have a picnic sheet. I have a big towel. I have food. I have an incredible view. And there's no people. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna just try to be. And just, you know, I'm gonna just do like these people are doing. They just, you know. I don't know, it's a long day. Like it's a lot of hours to just hang out. Like I'm not gonna last on the water for hours. You know what I was just thinking? I wonder if I could use my X-Ped as like a floaty device. Because it's like has a multi-use. I wouldn't have to bring my raft that I got if you guys were watching before I bring this. I think it's like two pounds or something. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's the whole reason we're gonna do this so I can use this freaking thing that I've been biking with. She was out there doing that and I was like, you gotta do it again. I didn't have my video going. Beautiful, thank you. Not bad, not bad at all. Ready to see the most half-assed dinner ever? This is the scrambled eggs. <laughs> and there's like some pasta pieces in there that are gonna be crunchy. And then this is the, the noodles pasta with the, the noodles, again, I see the green, that's the extra thing I threw in there. Scrambled egg soup because I added too much water. It's actually really good. <laughs> Wow, it's really warm. 